This is the purple ultimate seat cushion and this is my long-term review. I've had this seat cushion for over three months and I've been using it a lot and uh, I've come to depend on it. In fact, at this point, you would have a hard time taking it away from me. I really, really like this thing. I did an early review and I bought another purple seat cushion. The, I forgot the name of it, but it was thinner and I use that one in my little pickup truck. And that's where it's sitting right now. But let's look at this purple ultimate seat cushion just to refresh you. It's designed to sit on the seat of your of your vehicle. It's got a zippered on cover and on the bottom side it has little black nubs that grip the seat so it won't slide. On one side it has a strap and then on the Upside is just a smooth surface. If we look inside it, the material it's made of is right here. It's their some kind of thermal plastic material that they use in their mattresses they advertise and they use it in their seat cushions and everything else. It has these kind of a, a grid work with it and it is a a very soft and pliable material. You can take the cover off and you can wash it and then you can hose this bad boy down. No problem. I haven't really done that but you could do it. One thing to note is that on the back side, that's right here, notice how it's thinner right here in the center. It has a scalloped out area that corresponds to where your tailbone would sit to relieve pressure there. I think it's a really good thing. So the way you put it in is you put it with that to the back. When I first got it, I thought, this isn't gonna work, let me show you. It does not cover to the back of the seat. I thought I was gonna have to trim these corners, but that's not the case. All you do is you put it back like this, and I'm doing this hanging out of my camera and then tuck these corners down in, like so, and it really works great. Then, you plop down inside it, and you're set to go. Now, you can adjust it as you're driving, obviously, if you wanted a little bit, but it's a heavy enough object where you would not want to um, put it in when you're driving, obviously be a real safety thing it's not it's a it's heavy you know I usually leave it when I'm not driving right back here on my fridge and so when I park the truck I put it back there out of the Sun they had a warning with it not to expose it to very very direct sunlight and very hot temperatures um, so I usually put it back when I'm not using it and like when I'm here today I'm getting uh, I'm getting loaded and Right, my driver's seat is kind of in the sun, so what I'll do is I'll stick it back on my fridge so it's not in the sun. This is the other guy that always comes here when I'm here. This truck's smoking kind of bad. Hope he makes it home. He drives a little straight truck, and he comes in, and, uh, and they load him fast. It's kind of, it's real nice. And then he's out of here before me. They do him, and then they do me, and then they do the second load for, for Carter. Anyway, I haven't had a problem with it doing that. In fact, the thinner one, I have it sitting in my pickup truck, and it's out in the sun. I've never noticed any problem with that at all, with it deforming or doing anything. Uh, I think they just say that, I suppose, in some areas of the country where it got, your truck was parked, if it was in direct sun, it could get really, really hot and cause a problem. But I haven't had that problem. So, here I am in my seat. One thing I want to point out is that I like to ride with my seat fairly low. Uh, I like my feet flat on the floor. I like to take the pressure off the back side of my thighs, my hamstrings. I don't want to be like, you know, way up here. You know, how's the weather up there? Um, so, 
in order to do that with this seat cushion, when I put it right where I like, like right here, um, it's close to bottoming out. And if it's a real rough road, my, my air seat will bottom out. <laughs> That's not good, but it's okay. You know, if I don't have it in, I can actually sit a little lower and get the same amount of cushion. And I like to sit pretty low. I, of course, it depends on, on you. Every driver is different. Some guys that are really, really heavy will have the seat higher, so it, you know, it's the force on it and all that. Uh, I don't think that'll be a problem if you're in a truck like this but it's something to be aware of. The other downside of this seat cushion, I would say the biggest downside is that it definitely, it's definitely warmer than without the seat cushion. So the heat buildup is an issue with this thing. Now I know in their advertising, I hear their advertisements all the time on uh, my Sirius radio, for their mattress and they claim one of the big selling points is how cool it is and it makes me wonder about that uh, this is not a cool seat cushion it does not cool you you will be warmer than you would be without it so know that straight up there are times when it's been really really hot and it's still warm up here I'm in Chicago I'm north of Chicago and it's darn near 80 degrees in October here. But, you know, that's not hot, hot. Like, we get, like, if it was over, when it was up over 90s a lot, there were times when uh, it got a little too warm for me. Uh, so I, I would run without it for a while. It's not, it's, it's, it's warmer running with the seat cushion than it is without. That's not a huge deal. I wish it was cooler. But it's not a huge deal because what I uh, what I typically do, and like what I did this morning, when I start off, lots of times I won't use it. I use the seat cushion probably 80% of the time. So I'll have it set off the side, and then the first time I stop, I'll start using it. And then generally, as the day goes on, I use it more and more and more. By the end of the day, I'm for sure using it. It's pretty rare I'm not, simply because. The, it does relieve pressure points so well. This thing's amazing for that. It, it really does. It, it, it works. It, it's very, very nice. And, and like I said in the very beginning of uh, the video, I would not run without this thing. I love it. If I have to uh, change trucks, like I took a loaner a few times, I come to this truck and I get my essentials, what I need. What are those essentials I need? Well, obviously, my headset and uh, my um, iPass, which is assigned to me, so I, it goes truck to truck. And then there's not a lot of other stuff I really take. Um, you know, a few little odds and ends, but I grab my seat cushion. It's that important to me. My recommendation is if you're driving 500 miles a day, like I am, five days a week, this thing is almost indispensable. It really is really, really good. I, I, I can't say enough nice things about it that way. If you're not driving that much, yeah, you, you know, maybe it's not that big a deal. But if you, if you uh, feel like it'll help you, don't hesitate. It's, it's not cheap. This thing is very, very expensive, or relatively. When you start talking about $100 for a seat cushion or more, it, it's pretty expensive. But then again, I'm thinking, look how much I'm using it. It's right up there with having like good sunglasses or, or anything else that really aids you in driving. So, so consider that. Anyway, uh, one thing to make note of is I do not have any connection to the company Purple. Um, they did not send me this seat cushion to test. They did not give me a seat cushion. I bought it. You know, like that's the way it is with everything that I've ever uh, given you kind of some kind of review on. I bought it, and uh, I bought both of mine. It'd be nice if they gave them to me. Um, I don't think it'll wear out, so this doesn't matter too much. I gotta go talk to this guy about his truck smoking like that.
and see what's going on. He's late this morning. I'll get back to you. I noticed your truck was smoking. Huh? Your truck was sure smoking. I was, uh, it's under its own. It does a periodic PG. Have a good trip. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh. This young guy, he's on, on uh, well, he's got a, the regular run up here too, so we overlap all the time. Yeah, my seat just does that. Anyway, uh, back to the seat cushion. I, I just want to close by saying that uh, I give it my full endorsement. I think it's a quality product. I think it uh, suits its purpose well. It's really effective. It may not be for everybody, but it works for me. Until next time, I'll see you.